I'm gonna need a staff room as well uh, pretty soon. That's the requirement already. Diagnostics. I mean, I'll, I'll take you. You probably won't be working in a pharmacy for very long. But I'll take you. In fact, diagnostics. Go to general diagnosis. You go there. That's a better use of my uh, staff members. And finally, the tears of a clown swelled to a tide. Not the tears of a clown. The next weather report will be in 17 years. Okay, so staff room. I'm kind of going to be splitting my staff, so really I'm going to need two staff rooms. But for now, I think I can get away with just the one. If I'm getting two staff rooms, maybe I make them small. I could have... Uh, like this space. Oops. Fill that space there. So then it's actually a reasonably sized staff room. Let's get two sofas in there. Again, I want like prestige level three. I'm not going to push it. I got cocky with prestige level four very quickly. There we go. Uh, they do want like drinks and snacks and things like that. So let's get them all of those things. Definitely want a bin in here so they don't litter. And a hand sanitizer on the way out after touching that filthy remote. Don't want them having TV personalities now, do we? Okay. Getting a staff room nice and early. Got complaints about the cold. Ooh, we failed. Can I? Yeah, I can get a little radiator in there. That's what I want. This needs a large radiator to fill this area. Hmm. Yeah, I was worried about this mini radiator here. I guess we could. Can it get in there? Uh, not quite. Uh, that's a problem. I suppose I could put it at the back there. What does heat look like now? Hover over that. No, oh, maybe it's not going to tell me. It's a little warm. I think it'd be fine though. I don't think that's too hot. Hmm. Complete pest control research. Oh, we've already done that. Haha. <laughs> Diagnose a patient with pest control. Yeah, I guess um, everything carries over, even you, re you reset. Which is interesting. I suppose because the game's like always online kind of thing. Ooh, we got a psychology issue. But no psychology doctor. Boo. Training room it is. Let's not overdo it on the training, shall we? Let's get a training room at the back here. I think I want it there. And just have one, two, three, four. And that's it, really. We can leave it at that. Expand all of this when we've actually got our hospital I set up. Moved to two point county from so, pond. You want to know what I, I need to hire a doctor. The bowling alleys, Doctor hired, US and then I need to train him. Let's get psychiatry. Museums. Tim Rancid. More tunes to make your head explode. Oh yeah, trainer available. Get a guest in. That's gonna cost me a lot of money, hence why I'm not really going too far into a lot of the um, Maintenance Plans finer points. This is going to take forever. Do I just send home these TV personalities so they're not bugging me? I think so. Get out. We know what your problem is. Ah, we just killed a guy. 
Well, we've already got that no death thing. How do you not kill people in this game? Oh boy, don't tell me that was a ghost. No, we're all good. Speaking of, janitors. A janitor that's able to repair and maintain things. Kinda need one with ghost capture, but it'll do for now, because my plants are dying. Go home. We're about halfway to a psychiatrist. Hmm. You've gone on your break. You're going on your break. Alright, so let's hire another assistant. Wow. Customer service three. Boom. You are amazing. You're absolutely insane. Happy to have that around. Alright. Tell you what. Take a break. Haha, <laughs> I was gonna say, nobody's here. Don't take a break. Take the opportunity to uh, rest my doctor up, but nope, not gonna happen. Oh, god damn it. Well, at least he paid. Alright, we got psychiatry. So, psychiatry is a diagnosis and a. Um, the, the cure. So, I think it's going in here. We had it in here last time, but it got kind of clogged and everything built up. So I think we probably end up wanting like two of them at some point. I could have like one here, one here. So we've got two psychiatrists and then fill this area with like a toilet or something. That might be kind of cool. Center my patient, make him feel very on edge. There we go. Level two. Let's get the minimums in here and that'll probably take it to three. Would be my guess. Get plants. Oh, always need a rug. There we go. And my, my patient needs to look at the doge painting. I'd love to look at the doge painting at all times. The doctor needs to know what time it is. It's business time. Alright, made that joke enough. That should stop being made. Let's get a notice board. I don't know. Notice board doesn't look like it fits. Hmm. I'm trying to keep a, a theme somewhat going here. I guess we could have a filing cabinet at the back here. Can I get a changing screen to block it? Can. I can get somewhere like that. Something like that will do. And then Doctor can get behind there. Oh, we do need a bin. Let's get a bin in here. And I think a coffee maker as well. Boom. Salted. Plus 25% happiness to train three staff members. Sure, I'll, I'll take that. I like those odds. We got marketing dudes, customer servicing. Eh. Ooh, some decent nurses. Do I need any of these? I could get this ward and pharmacy person. Treat them in better ward management and then build myself a ward. We also need another doctor. Because ours is currently on... Now these are treatment doctors. Hmm. I'm gonna get Percy Rancid. Uh, Jim Rancid, or whatever his name is, his brother. He's over here, isn't he? Tim Rancid and Percy Rancid. Did you look at that? Brothers in arms. Right. So. Percy Rancid. What do I want to train you as? Uh, maybe general practice. Really gonna have to hire a guest trainer to do that though. Ah. Hmm. What else could I train? Give you diagnosis. I'm gonna have to take someone off of uh, whatever job they're doing anyway, so maybe I could hire... I don't know. D. Mason to train us or something like that. Or since we don't need 
somebody with diagnosis or anything like that right now as a nurse I could teach him diagnosis so the senior nurse that I've just got can teach Percy Rancid in diagnostics and that won't cost me anything or take anyone off the job still got 113,000 nice nice all right Still got an appointment with the GPs. Feels like everybody is perfectly well seated. I mean, I could do with some more seats around here, but for now it's probably gonna be just fine. Nobody's really waiting, so not an issue there. Only lost 9,000, and that's mostly from just building in general. A lot of expenses have gone by. So you're off to the pharmacy. That bar is not full. Or is that what full looks like for this bar? I don't know. Diagnosis certainty 91. Yeah. Upgrade the easy scan. Sure. Let's do that. Hopefully it repairs at the same time. Where's our psychology doctor? Where's he gone? He's right here. Get in there. Let me make sure my psychology doctor doesn't do anything other than psychology. Because I don't have any others, so if he's moving around rooms, then I'm going to be stuck. You are waiting. All right. Have a seat. Have a few, in fact. Let's get um, the bathroom that I was going to sort out. Because I wanted a room to match here, so this is going to line up. Can I get a toilet? Give me a long toilet like that. Uh, that should be fine, I think. Let's get the door on here, because I'm going to line up the toilets. Always have a golden toilet. Five should do. As long as we've got the ability to put sinks in, then... Should be just fine. Let's have one there, one there. Hand dryer. Hand dryer. How do I put hand dryer there? Get a. Um... This is getting cramped. Hand sanitizer. Get the, like the the essential weird stuff in here. I'd say weird. <laughs> There's nothing weird about it. Radiator, I think two in these areas here should heat up the corridor. There's no way a plant fits in the corner there, so it'll fit over here. <laughs> Could uh, get some bowel movement posters in and around that area. Just to make it look nice, nice, uh, Food poster there. And Dutch painting here as well. There we go. That should be a pretty reasonable bathroom, I would say. Night fever has been discovered. Okay. Seven patient with lightheadedness. Uh, yeah, let's bring him in. Lightheadedness patients are arriving. Let's build our deluxe clinic now. So I think the idea was... I was going to put something here and have a corridor going down. Mm, I'm not actually sold on that. I'm wondering if maybe I want like a ward slash fracture clinic that goes an L shape like that around, around here. I definitely don't want this right now. I think that's what I want to do. So if I'm going to do that said I wanted a three wide area as a waiting point here. Let's get the room size a little bit bigger to allow for expansion in the future. Plus these things are quite large. Here we go. Door matching. 
And a window in there as well. I don't know if I'm gonna have a corridor down there. Hmm. I just realized how long I've been running on for, so this is probably gonna be the last building that I make before I cut off the episode. But it's been an extra long one and I've enjoyed resetting for you guys. <laughs> uh, hope you aren't mad at me for resetting. Prestige level 3, but I feel like we're doing a little bit better now. It's early days, of course, like I've got to wait until everybody crams in, but I think this going for minimal approach is going to help us financially. So this needs a doctor, so I'm going to hire one with treatment skill. Let me just check that we don't have a doctor with double treatment skill or anything like that. No. Okay. And then I'm definitely going to need to sort out this little waiting area now. Because we've got patients coming. Need drinks, snacks. I think this is going to be a corridor. Just by the fact that I have to uh, do what I'm doing. Can I get benches in this area? Not quite. Ugh. This is awkward. Because I think putting them that way is just weird and wrong. But maybe it's the correct thing to do. Uh, I'm going to get him to run along here a little bit as well, I think. So we got entertainment, but not much of it. We have no bins, so let's get a bin around the corner here. And then an arcade machine. Which isn't going to fit there, but can it fit in this corner? Boom. Yeah, it can. Alright, let's try that. Hopefully the queue to the arcade machine doesn't block the door. Lightheadedness has been discovered. Good, because they're on their way. Won't want to be failing that. There's our seven backlog. The first of many. We're down to 54,000. Okay. I <laughs> love this thing. Where's my head? There it is. Boom. Cured. Nice. Awesome. Oh, we've now cured... Um, taught you. So, who can be taught next? Senior nurse. Could train you in... Is pharmacy too not a thing? Hmm. I was hoping it would be. There's no... Oh, it's treatment one. I could teach you. And get Clint Plum to teach you that one. Anybody else who wants treatment? Oh, bedside manners, diagnostics. Anyone with diagnostics doesn't want treatment. I guess I could get um, Tex Lion to get treatment, since he could be an injection room and ward management is occasionally treatment as well. Yeah, he seems qualified for that. Let me just make sure that we're not stopping anybody from being cured. Impressed the VIP with a nice hospital. Yeah, bring it on. My hospital's wonderful. I won't hear anything bad about it. Except for the fact that you decided to stand. Popstar Jasmine Odyssey is arriving. Ooh. Is she arriving by helicopter and all? Yeah, she is. Oh my god. All pop stars walk like this. Should have known. Anyway, guys, uh, this is a very, very long episode. Honestly, I might, I might go for another 10 minutes and actually just split this video in half. Yeah, I think so. Why not? We'll go for another 10 minutes. So we got four more patients left to go. 40 days gone. We should be able to uh, 
get this one sorted just nicely as long as nobody leaves. I need to keep an eye on that to make sure that isn't happening. What's the queue size on the GPs? It's up to four now. Might be about time to get another one. Janet, a situation. Ooh, there's another psychiatrist. I might snatch him up while I can. Sick of string sections. It's charming. I always forget about this sort of stuff. I like Eva Fingers though. Eva Fingers can come along. Let's get a promotion in there. Let's teach. Oh no, we're uh, still training. Okay, so let's get um, a copy of this room here. Flip it around. Slap it on in. And that should deal with the GP situation. Doo -doo. Unfortunately, not a qualified GP. But, you know, we'll take what we can get. Three more to go. We're doing quite well, actually. Usually half of them have died at this point. Also, uh, we're going to be able to do this staff request pretty soon. We're about halfway there. It should be okay. Marketing license. Okay, so let's get on that, shall we? Build a marketing room and hire or train an assistant with marketing qualifications to run the campaigns. Okay, where are we going to put this marketing room? We could have a small room down here. Maybe that's what that needs to be. I don't know. This is going to be a huge ward, I think. That's what I feel like, anyway. Then again, the ward is a diagnostics room as much as it is anything else, and we also need pest control sorted. My god, it's beginning. The war on backlog has begun. Let's sort our marketing room. I'm going to put it in like this area here. Where my training room is. Since nobody has to wait, it doesn't really matter about clogging this area up. So we need a marketeer's desk and a marketing table. What are our objects that we can get? There's a drawing board. Somewhere to return to after our plan has fallen through. Nice. Flip boards. Ooh, that's a nice looking sofa. Lava lamps. Dude. Oh my god. A lamp, the description, converts electrical energy into light and heat. You stupid. Thank you. Oh my god, I want that rug. It looks disgusting. And then some of the usual stuff. Okay. So the basics is we need this item here and this little item here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, ooh. Such nice maneuverability. I think we want the brainstorming area over here. And then in the corners over here, let's have our marketing desk. I guess we'll do like a two-man marketing team. And then let's have some filing cabinets to show all of the amazing stuff that we're doing and store it away. Ugh. Ugh. Nearly didn't have it against the wall. Damn. All right, this might be a bit big of a radiator, but I think we'll get away with it. Definitely need coffee for brainstorming. I mean, I drink tea, but still, need coffee for brainstorming. And sugar, lots of sugar, always need sugar. Uh, let's make sure we get a plant in here as well. Let's liven up the room. We're almost at Prestige 3, which I think is exactly where we need to be. Um, Doge painting at the head of the table. King Doge. There we go. I'm actually going to center that. Like so. Alright. Alright. To start a marketing campaign, click on the marketing table. It's essentially like training, I'm assuming. General campaigns improve the hospital's overall present reputation. Recruitment campaigns attract more job applications of various types. Illness campaigns attract more patients exhibiting certain symptoms and improve your reputation with specific illnesses. Note, unlock more illness campaigns by discovering more illnesses in each area. Okay, so essentially going to bring people in to something. Give our reputation a small boost with an advert in the Lonely Hearts column in the Two Point Squabbler. 
brilliant. Hmm. Roderick Cushion. So we can hire certain people. Ooh, genetics. I shouldn't look too much into this because it's probably going to ruin some stuff. We could do a marketing campaign for three months. I need to actually make sure that we've got um, an assistant with marketing. So let's get an assistant who's going to work in here. He's going to do a marketing campaign. And I'm going to see if I can get a... Is that really a good idea? Hmm, maybe not. Let's do a pharmacy campaign. We don't usually get that many uh, people needing pharmacy, so I could boost that up, maybe. That could do with a boost. And then Kevin Brisket. I think we're going to train in marketing once we've done that. Get patient to wait on pest control. I have five more minutes. It's okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to leave it up here, but I'm not. Never. Pest control. Right, this this area here can be split up into two rooms, right? Yeah, a little room in there would go just fine. That might be where our staff room goes, actually. Nice and centered in the building. Let's get you in there. Let's get a bin at the back. Definitely want a fire extinguisher for this bad boy. And sanitizer. A radiator to keep us warm. The radiators usually go below the windows, don't they? Let's, let's, let's use realism. I put radiators there. Why not? <laughs> I don't know why I want realism in this game. There's clearly nothing real about it. The certificate of nothing going wrong. There we go. Uh, no, this isn't a clock thing. You can have a notes board, though. Almost there. Almost there. Let's make sure that after they get blasted in the face, they can still read. How about that? There we go. Prestige 3. This needs a nurse. So let's get a nurse. I don't want these qualified nurses. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say. I want somebody that's poorly qualified that I can train. Well, I guess I'm getting Neve Sausage. Unless you're really bad here. Positive, heartthrob, and drops later. Ooh. Do you do anything horrible? Unhygienic. Ah. Enjoys doing evil things. You've got so much good going about you, I'm just going to hire you. Screw it. Welcome aboard. Come on, lightheaded patients. We've cured five. We need two more. Yes, last one. Challenge. Train three staff. Complete. Sweet. There we go. Got some training slots, so let's get them trained, shall we? Training course treatment complete. What do I want to train? Might get psychiatry too. On Tim Rancid. That's going to require a guest trainer, but I think it's worth it. Hmm. Can I get a backup psychiatrist while I wait? No. Okay, so we're going to backlog a wee bit. Get a level 4 staff room. I'm a little short on cash, so I'm going to reject that one. Alright, while we wait, I'm going to close this room. which opens up all of these people to be sent somewhere else. It looks like the uh, those who are looking to use psychology as a uh, diagnosis have to go elsewhere. Hmm. I'm just going to send you home. Special report. Six out of seven. Okay, I think the last one... Um, failed but didn't kill them so we actually got 10 reputation 10 kudos and 10,000 doras oh no it did kill them never mind his head is very much still attached to his head oh no janitor ghost capture go please there you go solve that problem immediately we don't actually have a janitor with uh andrew digestive 
We don't have a janitor with uh, ghost capture, so solving that right now is worthwhile since we probably already need some more janitors. In fact, I'm actually going to hire another one, I think. Uh, ooh, good publicity for the hospital, but we can probably get a better reaction. 10 reputation, 10 kudosh, $10,000. More ghosts. Where's my janitor? Where is he? He's over here. Is that him? Are you the janitor? No. Are you the janitor? You are. Alright. Ghost capture. Get him. Alright, well, that's gonna do it. Ooh, 10 research points. Ooh. That's gonna do it for today's episode anyway, guys. I hope you've... Oh my god. Come back. Solve this problem. Psychiatry required. Uh, get patient to wait. I think we're almost done. Kind of. Monty Vault. Yeah, uh, this episode's probably going to get split into two anyway, so uh, you go home. Oh my god. You definitely go home on 47%. Not taking chances with that. Some patients should be ashamed of their condition. Wow. You know who you are. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway! My God, I need to uh, I need to end this episode off. This game is dragging me in. I hope you've all enjoyed. If you have, then be sure to like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon. You know the drill. I will see you all next time for some more Two Point Hospital. See you later, guys.